Welcome to Chapter 3 of our story, where the storm finally breaks, unleashing a torrent of rain upon the parched earth. The children stand united, their memories sculpted into a fragile sandman. Join us as we explore their journey through the tempest, a tale of courage, unity, and the power of shared memories. Stay tuned as we delve into the heart of the storm and the bonds that hold them together. The storm rages on, a relentless force of nature that threatens to wash away the children's creation. Nadia stands at the forefront, her long dark hair plastered against her forehead, her expressive brown eyes wide with determination. The wind howls like a banshee, threatening to tear away the sandman they have painstakingly crafted. Omar, sturdy and resolute, shouts over the cacophony, urging his friends to gather around their creation, a fragile embodiment of their collective past. Layla, her vibrant clothing swirling around her like a kaleidoscope, clutches her paintbrush tightly, her heart racing as she watches the rain begin to wash away the edges of their masterpiece. We can't let it go, she cries, her voice barely piercing through the storm's fury, the colors of her imagination, the vibrant hues she has painted into the sand, seem to bleed into the earth, merging with the memories they have shared. Eli, standing slightly apart, feels the pull of the storm deep within him, a connection that thrums like a heartbeat. He has always sensed the whispers of the Sandman, but now, as the storm rages, those whispers grow louder, urging him to act. We have to embrace it, he shouts, his voice rising above the chaos. The Sandman is our memories. We can't be afraid of them. Nadia turns to her friends, her heart swelling with a fierce pride. We are not just sculptors. We are the keepers of our stories, she declares, her voice steady despite the tempest. Omar nods, feeling the weight of leadership shift from his shoulders to the collective strength of their bond. Together, they form a circle around the Sandman, hands clasped, hearts aligned. As the rain pours down, they begin to share their fears aloud, each confession a thread weaving them closer together. Layla speaks of her insecurities, the fear that her art will never be enough. Omar reveals his struggle with the expectations of leadership, the burden of being the one everyone looks to. Nadia shares her fears of losing the stories of her ancestors, while Eli, with a newfound clarity, speaks of the connection he feels to the Sandman a bridge between their past and present. The storm rages on, but within their circle, a calm begins to settle. They are no longer just children sculpting sand. They are a community, bound by their shared experiences and the acceptance of their pasts. As the rain continues to fall, the Sandman begins to dissolve, but instead of despair, the children feel a sense of liberation. They are not losing their memories. They are allowing them to flow into the earth, to become part of something greater. In that moment, as the storm howls and the rain falls like a cleansing baptism, the children embrace their fears, their regrets, and their hopes. They stand together, united against the chaos, transformed by the storm that had threatened to tear them apart. And as the last remnants of the Sandman wash away, they emerge from the tempest, not just as friends, but as a family forged in the fires of memory and acceptance. Thank you for joining us in Chapter 3 of our story. Stay tuned for more adventures with Storyteller.